guys, so today I'm back to do another video for you guys. This is going to be a beauty product haul. So for this video, I am going to be partnering with Sephora and showing you guys what's new at Sephora and I'm going to be swatching or trying everything on along the way. So there's some makeup stuff, some skincare stuff, some hair stuff, and also some fragrance in here. So I'm really excited to try everything out and see what they sent me. Also, if you guys try out any new looks or new products and post them, make sure to use hashtag new at Sephora so I can see what you guys are loving lately. So anyways, let's get into the video and see what's in this box. I am super pumped to try all this stuff out. Ooh, look at all these goodies. Hmm. So everything in this video is going to be either a new product that they're carrying at Sephora or a new brand that they're carrying at Sephora, either one. And yeah, there's a lot of goodies in this box and I'm excited to try out. And I think I'm gonna start with the makeup products first. So the first product we have are these Bite Beauty Prismatic Pearl Cream Lip Glosses. So they come in a bunch of shimmery multi-dimensional shades from Rare Black Pearls. And oh my God, these colors, you guys. Let's swatch them, try them out, see what they're like. So then this is the packaging, just comes in a nice, tube like this and nice matte black packaging. So I'm going to take this one here. It's called Champagne Pearl. So this one is Rose Pearl. Then we have Oyster Pearl. This one is Bronze Pearl. Then we have Peacock Pearl. And then last is Pink Pearl. So these are all really gorgeous shades. The pearly pigment in there lasts really well. Like when I was switching between lip colors, the pearl pigment like reflex in there wanted to stay. So that's good. And also really easy to apply. I thought they were going to be like messy, like a lip gloss, but they actually kind of go on more like a cream hence the name cream lip gloss. So those are definitely super fun. Definitely awesome for like festival Coachella kind of season, I think. So next up is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Loose Powder. And I'm excited to try this out. It's supposed to be blurring, light diffusing, and give you that perfect skin look. So let's try this out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And my under eye area right now, just to see how it applies. definitely translucent and uh, definitely invisible you cannot tell that I just put powder on like sometimes when you put powder on you can kind of see the powder but this I'm not really seeing it definitely makes everything look smooth airbrushed blurred kind of Really nice. I need to try it with the flash though. See if there's any flashback because if there's flashback, we could have a situation on our hands. So let's try this. Yay, no flashback, no flashback, no flashback. Okay, so uh, thumbs up for now. I'll definitely have to try it out more and see how I like it. So next up are three little kits from Benefit. So they sent over three of these little essential makeup kits. They're perfect for different occasions. One's called Work It Girl. One is called Date Night with Mr. Right. And then the other is called Sunday My Prince Will Come. And they come with these cute little makeup bags, which are perfect for like gifts or travel size, on the go, throwing in your purse, stuff like that. And uh, they're not necessarily all new products, but they're a lot of their best sellers are in here, all in like little mini sets. So I'm gonna show you guys what is in each one. So the first kit is called Work It Girl, which is great for a natural like work day look, during the day kind of look has your essentials in there. So this kit has Benefit Hula, which we all know is just a nice, perfect matte bronze, perfect for contouring. So I'm sure you guys know what this looks like, but there's a swatch of it right there. It's a really nice, natural, bronzy contour color. Then we have a mini professional primer, which is great to wear under your makeup to make it last longer and also makes your pores look much smaller. This one goes on as like a light skin color and it just blends out to be like invisible pretty much. It also has Benefit Roller Lash, which is my favorite holy grail mascara. It makes your lashes so curled, separated, lengthened, volumized. It's just that mascara that you need. So if you haven't tried it, pick it up or pick it up in this little mini kit and see if you like it. 
Then it also has Benetint, which is a nice cheek tint. And it just goes on like this as a liquid. And then you just kind of blend it in. And gives you a nice, flush, healthy glow to your cheeks. So the next kit is called Date Night with Mr. Right. So this would be perfect to throw in your bag if you're going on a date to do touch-ups or do your makeup with beforehand. On this one, we have the Benefit There Real Lipstick slash Lip Liner in one to give you a nice, full-looking pout. So I'll swatch the color on the back of my hand right here. So here's the lipstick together, and then this is the liner by itself, and then the lipstick by itself. But it'll just give you a nice, pretty, full-looking lip because lip liner always helps. Then we have Benefit Their Real Mascara to give you nice, thick, dark, dramatic lashes. Then there's the Rocketeur Blush, which is this really gorgeous rose gold color to give you that nice glow to your cheeks. And just swatch that over here. As you can see, it's a nice, really pretty rosy gold shade. And they also have a mini What's Up, which is their cream to powder highlighter, which you can just put on your cheekbones to give you that glow. So that's it right there. Just make your highlight on fleek, as they like to say. And then the last little kit is called Sunday, my principal calm, and this is more for your casual weekend laid back look for like brunch or something when you want like a really, really natural casual look. So this one has Gimme Brow, which is a brow gel. So this basically just defines them, sculpts them a little bit. It's really easy to do and I like to use this a lot like when I'm like on the go or in a hurry and I don't feel like doing my full brow routine, I'll use this. Then there's their new California blush, which is so pretty. I haven't tried this out yet. It's obviously a bright, uh, summery pink, which I'm excited to see. Ooh, very pigmented. It's a nice, like, corally pink. Definitely will be perfect for spring or summer. Or on the weekends, you need a little casual pick-me-up on your cheeks. This is a really pretty color for that. There's also a mini high beam, which is this little liquid highlighter dries to a powder finish and this again will give you a nice pretty glow a nice soft kind of like pinky glow so pretty then in this one they have their benefit their real tinted lash primer so this you can use underneath your lashes to make them define and tinted or you can use it underneath your regular mascara to make it last longer and give you that extra oomph and then here's all three together. I just love these cute little makeup bags. Adorable. So next we're going to move on to a skincare product. This is the Ula Henriksen Counterbalance Oil Control Hydrator. And this sounds really interesting to me because I have more combination dry skin. So I like the matte look, but I don't like the feeling of matteness drying out my skin. So this is supposed to control oil but hydrate at the same time. So I'm really interested to try this out. It's supposed to be ultra light, control oil and mattify with green fusion complex, neem seed oil, rose hip fruit extract, and AHAs. So I love a product that is functional, works well under makeup, and is good for your skin. So this is very intriguing to me. So it just has a nice little pump like this. It has AHAs in it, which is supposed to reduce the oil and the appearance of your pores. It's also supposed to make your makeup last longer. So this is the texture, it just kind of feels like a lotion, which is nice. So I feel like it would be really hydrating, so I can't wait to try it out. So as you can see, it just goes on clear. And the smell is actually kind of smells like a minty smell, which is nice, really refreshing kind of smell. So next up is a hair care product from Bumble and Bumble. This is their Sumo Clay, which is supposed to be a workable styling clay to give you texture and definition and hold. And this one has a matte dry finish. This is also like a unisex product. So my boyfriend will probably use this more than me because I'm not really big on putting a ton of product in my hair, but I do think it would be really pretty for like a beachy textured look, like after you curl your hair to give it that beachy effect to work this in there I think it would give you some nice like texture and definition so let's see what this is like so this is the texture it's pretty much just like a paste 
The scent isn't really strong, so uh, I'm not really going to describe it because I can't even really smell it. So I wouldn't really worry about that. But it doesn't smell bad. There's just a very, very light fragrance. And so yeah, it's like a grayish paste. But not super sticky, which is interesting. And so lastly, we have fragrance, and this is from the brand Commodity, which I've mentioned in videos before, actually. Um, I've tried their, like, little scent cocktail mixing scent layering kit. I'm not really sure what it's called, but I love that, so I know automatically that I'm going to love this stuff already. So they sent a few from their Platinum collection, which is supposed to be more of, like, a rich indulgent luxurious kind of scent line so I'm really excited to try these out the packaging for these are amazing they're really simple and like luxe looking so they look pretty on your counter or on your vanity so the three scents they sent me are vetiver leather and bergamot so we're gonna try out vetiver first so vetiver is supposed to be a golden woody scent with tropical florals it can be masculine or feminine, which I like. I don't really like super girly scents. That's just my personal preference. Ooh. So it's definitely really strong at first. I don't know if this would be really a good man scent because of the floral in there. It's a little bit more feminine than masculine, but it is a really pretty scent if you like florals mixed with wood. <laughs> That's the best way I can describe it. This isn't my personal preference, but it definitely is a really nice smell. As it dries, it smells like a little bit more woody, but it's definitely a woody floral. So if you like floral, woody scents, then you'd probably like that. <laughs> How do you swatch fragrances? Like, what? So the next one is Leather, which is an interesting name for a scent. So this is supposed to evoke the sensual scent of leather, but also the texture and sexiness of it as well, which is interesting. So we'll see. When I think Leather, I definitely think of a more masculine smell though. So we'll see how this one goes. Pretty spicy. It actually doesn't smell bad though. I can definitely get the hint of leather, but I feel like it kind of smells like a spicy, smoky leather. Again, not one that I would personally wear, I don't think, but definitely interesting. The more that it dries, the more that I like it, though, for sure. Hmm, it reminds me of something, but I can't think of what it is. Like a smoky, spicy scent? If that makes sense at all, it probably doesn't. I don't even know. So the last one is Bergamot, which I actually already own the travel size of this, so I was super pumped to see this in my box because this is the full size. So again, this is a, another unisex smell, and this is a more bright citrus, so it's a really nice, fresh smell. I think it's a good spring-summer smell because it's so bright and fresh and kind of like aquatic. I don't know, I love any candle that has this in the notes. I automatically buy it because I love bergamot. It's just really fresh and bright smelling. So I already know what it smells like, but we're gonna spray it again. I don't know what it is, it just smells like summery to me. Uh, I wore this on my vacations in Punta Cana, uh, Turks and Caicos, and I just felt like I went with the whole vibe, but not in like a sunscreen kind of way, just like a nice like aquatic smell. I don't know if that makes sense, but I love that and it's definitely going to be in my rotation. These scents are also really great for layering, so if you feel like one is missing something, you can layer them to get like your perfect custom scent, which is awesome. So that pretty much wraps up this haul. I'm really looking forward to trying these products out more, playing with them a little bit more. So hopefully you'll see some of them in an upcoming favorites video or tutorial. Also, I'm going to be putting all of the links in the description box below if you guys want to check them out and see what else is new at Sephora. I will put all the links below. So thank you so much to Sephora for sending me all of these goodies to try out and partnering with me. I thought this was a really fun kind of video to do. So I hope you guys like it. And thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Other than that, I'll see you guys soon. <laughs> Literally dying because I am inhaled so much fragrance. Half the test sprays like went over there, up, down. I'm just like inhaling straight fumes right now.